All right, today here we're gonna show you guys the uh, killer eel. It's an eight inch killer eel. We also have a 13 inch version. Um, this is similar to the other, all the eels have these fins on the side and then a fin in the back, it's made of different plastic. Uh, this is a very erratic bait. A lot of guys use this for uh, musky fishing. Uh, the 2008 PMTT was actually one on this lure right here. Greg Thomas, great guy, Musky Hunter Magazine. He, uh, he, he'll tell you to throw these a lot, especially shallow water. You'll, you'll, you'll catch a lot of musky on it. Uh, there's a huge trend I know in bass fishing for bigger and bigger baits. I mean, people are throwing just preposterously big baits at fish now. This is a good way if you want to get started throwing a little bigger bait to catch some fish. Um, we've had really good luck on bass here. Um, even in, you know, we're in the Midwest. We're not in one of the bigger bass states like Florida or Texas or California. But um, I know that the, there's a lot of people using these for bass now. As it like all of our stuff, Anna scented. It's infused with it, completely mixed into the plastic. So it holds scent for a very, very long time. Um, it has an eight-aught hook and a three-aught hook put together. We have a 100-pound line holding this together. Um, we build the rigs ourselves. These are hand-poured, and it's it's got a firm feel to it. And as you can see, it's got almost like a curved shape to it with these fins. That's what gives it that erratic movement. I mean, it's gonna go side to side. It'll flip upside down. Like that's all how it's supposed to work. Um, you know, when it flips upside down, that belly white, my personal favorite, uh, you know, it looks like the bottom of a fish. And when that's flipped upside down, you know, I always give it a pause when I, when I give it a jerk when I'm fishing for bass, I'll give it a pause when it'll, it'll dive down deep. I give it a pause and let it fall down. And that's been when I've had the most luck catching big bass on these. Um, so try these things out as always, uh, let us know what you think when you, uh, catch some fish and let us know what you think.